gooseberries produce a tangy fruit that's good for eating fresh, good for culinary uses such as pies, and good for processing and jellies and jams. And it comes in an array of different colors, including yellow, orange, red, pink, purple, and even almost black. They are a deciduous bush, which means they drop their leaves in the wintertime. They grow to three to six feet high and wide, and they also have spikes and spines on them, so be careful when you're harvesting. A good idea is to wear gloves or something. Some of the varieties are very pointy. When planting gooseberries, it's best if you can get them in a well-protected spot that also gets full sun, like right up against the fence here. Gooseberries like to grow in a soil that drains well, and they also like to have a mulch underneath them to help keep the moisture in. Two to three inches is almost a requirement, but we like to go thicker on the mulch. We think it helps. Gooseberries ripen over a two to three week period, so it's not something you're gonna be able to come out and just harvest all at once. But if you wanted to use gooseberries for cooking or for processing, you're gonna to wanna to pick an early variety and just pick the fruit a little bit early in June before it's at peak ripeness. As the gooseberries get larger and closer to being ripe, it's good to come out regularly and just feel them because as they ripen, they'll get softer and softer. So like right now, I'll feel this one here. And I can see that it's very firm, which means it's a good amount of time till that's gonna be ripe. And here's a two-year-old Pixwell gooseberry with ripe gooseberries on it. These ones are a lot squishier and softer than the ones in the other plant, but they're not ripe just yet. These gooseberries right here are either ripe or very close to being ripe. You can see how the color is starting to change on them and they're starting to become softer also. If they're at optimum ripeness, once I go to grab it, it should fall off and it didn't. So that's very close, but not just at the perfect ripeness for me. These ones right here look like they might be ripe, so let me try them. Nope, didn't fall right off. That one right there in the back looks nice and ripe. Yep, see how it just fell off right there? And there's the ripe one that I just knocked off right here. And there's a little present in the back too. It's important to pay attention and watch the weather around the time that your gooseberries are gonna be ripe because that can let you know if they're gonna ripen quicker or slower. For example, we had a few days of intense sun and a hot spell with high temperatures, which let me know that these berries were gonna ripen quicker due to that. If we had shady weather and it was cool, they would have ripened slower. Once I know that the gooseberry has a good amount of ripe fruit on it, I'll come out every morning and check underneath the plant and see if there's any ripe ones like there are there that have fallen. This way they're nice and fresh, and when you get in the morning, they're cool too.